What's up everyone, Denver here, bringing you another Dead by Daylight video. And tonight we're going to run a slightly different build with my boy Trapper here. We're going to try and run like a slow healing build. Which may not work, I don't know. I mean, my normal build I do with him, I do pretty well with, but I wanted to try something different. So we have Sloppy Butcher. So uh, if I hit someone, it slightly increases the survivor's bleeding frequency, but it causes the mangled status effect until they're fully healed. We're going to combine that with Anthophobia, so every time there's someone injured, uh, they receive a 4% uh, penalty to speed on every th on uh, repairing, healing, and sabotage. But I really want to use it for the healing. So these two combined will really slow it down. We're going to run barbecue and chili, so if I hook someone, anybody that's 40 meters out of the way, uh, I can see their auras and I get some stackable bonuses. But we're also going to run Hex the Third Seal. This is going to be the only Hex totem I'm going to run. If I hit someone that they suffer from the blindness effect, this applies to the last three people that I hit because I don't have it fully maxed out. So they won't be able to see anybody else's auras or anything like that. Um, so that's what we're going to go with with perks. Now with add-ons, we're going to run Honing Stone. So if they, someone frees themselves from a trap, they're automatically be in the dying state. And we're going to run some Lagwa Die to moderately darken the traps to make it easier for them to, to get in the trap. And then I hope they do free themselves. We're going to run some bonus points in hunting, and we will see how this does. In game! Come on, people. Why don't you ready up? Are you afraid of the trapper? I have a cleaver! Haha. <laughs> So by not running Ruin or any slow gen builds, this is, you know, the, the gens are going to pop pretty fast. So I've got to try and find some folks rather quickly. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, just put a trap here for the heck of it. And I can only carry one trap at a time. So that's also a thing. My totem's in a terrible spot. Not that it's a big deal, it's only third seal, but... Still and all, I want to, uh, I want to trap the loop over there, so I'll grab a trap from here. Oh, hi. I can break that already, thank you. Uh, I was going to trap the loop, but I think I'll go after her right now instead. Uh, that one right through her. <laughs> I see you. Okay. Hopefully nobody's here to drop a pound on me. But... You can go to the basement, since someone else is here already. A little barbecue and chili, yep. But someone else is here already, so I'm not going to be able to do Trapper's Basement right away. Hi! Oh, she got caught in the trap in the bottom, and if she frees herself, she'll automatically be in the dying state, so that's a thing. And someone just tried to throw a pallet down on me. I should have auto-grabbed her, I don't know why I didn't. Oh, okay, that's a thing. I should have auto-grabbed her. I don't understand why I didn't. I'm gonna go grab this. Yep, they're healing over here. Yep, there they are. Well, I'll just 
put him here. Get off my totem. That was, now you must die. Well, hello there. <laughs> How'd I miss her? Gee, you think this is survive with friends, do you? Oh, man. Oh, why am I... Every time I go to lunge, it's like... I, I, for some reason, it's just tapping it when I go to lunge. I don't understand why it's doing that. Huh? Oh, insta-heal. Trying to break this this cook here. Well, obviously everybody's right here. I didn't know I hooked her before. Oh, I have a trap already. All right, then I am just gonna hook. Congratulations. That time the other grab worked. I'm just gonna hook, uh, trap this window right here. And then go back around the other side and trap the window back over there again. I never did hook this girl because of her friends, but I will this time, I'm sh pretty sure. So still, they can't take away Thanthophobia, and they can't take away... They can't take away Thanthophobia, and they can't take away the uh, Sloppy Butcher. So either way, they're still going to have extremely slow healing. <laughs> Where'd he go? Right here? Oh. Okay, that was a thing. You didn't ah. bother moving. Ah. See, look how it's taken her forever to heal because of Thentophobia and Sloppy Butcher. So even though I don't have Ruin or anything to slow the game down, they still only have one gen done. And that's because of the slow healing. There's no barbecue in Chile, which means they're nearby. So she had borrowed. Uh oh. 
<laughs> All right, where is Claudette? She is around here somewhere. Yep, I knew you were around here somewhere. Ah, oh, she didn't get seed. <laughs> Survive with friends, rage. I like it. So slow healing trapper worked out just fine. No ruin, no pop goes to weasel. And still got a four man. Uh, and they only got one gen done. And just survived with friends group, so that's pretty good. And still got merciless killers, so that's a double pip. I did have fun. All iridescent. So, all right. Well, this slow gen. So the yeah, third heal, this seal worked for a little while. I still threw barbecue in there because that's super important, I think, to still run on almost every killer. But, you know, Danthithobia and Mangled, or Mangled, Sloppy Butcher, which causes the Mangled effect, just totally slowed the game down without running Ruin or anything else. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you feel like I've earned a like, comment, and subscribe. Please tell your friends. I'm trying to grow this little channel. And until then, we will see you all in the next video.